Hey everyone, welcome to week two of English 1302. I want to start with the latest announcement that I made and I'll, I'm not going to read it to you, but please read it. It is very important that you use proper grammar in a college English class, which means spelling, punctuation, capitalization, sentence structure, syntax, all of these. If you don't know what that means, look it up. I always think of Yoda. It's the word order, such as happy I am. That, that's part of it. It's the way that people structure their sentences. But my main concern with a few people on the discussion board is that they're not using capital letters and they're not using punctuation. So there are run-on sentences. There are sentences that have no end at the end of the comment. So I do want to tell you, though, I did thoroughly enjoy reading very many of y'all. Some of y'all gave more information uh, than others, and I really enjoyed that. Some of you kind of said the same things, but at least everybody was different in a certain way, which will lead us to one of the assignments that you'll be working on later. But let's go over here. We're still in unit one. That was week one that you did last week. And you're not going to be able to see the discussion board, okay? But you will see week two. So click on that. You're watching the video right now. These are the directions. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start working in your textbook, which is in MindTap. It's chapter 21, finding source material. You're going to have seven activities, video quizzes to go along with the chapter. And then you'll have this week and next week to complete this assignment. So the second half of chapter 21 is due February 6th. Now, if you want to go ahead and finish all of it, uh, some of you might, please be, be my guest. Please do that. But I also need for you to take notes as you're doing this, which will help you in your video quizzes also. So you won't have to keep going back and forth and back and forth and looking for an answer that you might not be sure about. So that's the second thing. The third thing is you're going to complete three MindTap grammar exercises that are due next Sunday. And they are tone, voice, fragments. Okay, so that's what you're assigned for this week. We're going to come back to the crossword puzzle, and I'll probably have to pause this and go into another window to bring this up, but that should be a fun assignment for you to work on. But let's go right now to our reading assignment. So where do I find this, and where do I find this? Well, you go over to MindTap right here and you click on it. Hopefully it comes up. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm sorry. All right, so you click on that and you'll have to sign in probably. I don't know. Maybe maybe you don't have to anymore. It knows who you are. We're in unit one, laying the foundation, credible sources. Chapter 21 is finding source material. The internet is a great source of information. I will tell you that right up front, okay? For example, I'm recording this on a brand new MacBook Pro. So I had to set up the ability to record and share my screen. So I did not even know what to do. So I went and I typed an a question on Google and it took me to several YouTube things. I have to go to sh uh, system preferences and from there privacy and security. And from there I have to drag over what I want to be able to share and what I want to record. So that was great information. And so don't think that I'm 
denigrating the internet because I'm not. However, this is a very heavily filled course with research. I'm sure I could have said that better, but it's heavy research. And when you research something, you can't just go to the internet. You go to experts. Furthermore, you go to experts who other export experts have vetted and vetted V-E-T-T-E-D. That is a term that you often hear when a presidential candidate wants to choose a vice president who will run with him or her. The person has to be vetted. That means that they have people who go investigate these people. They ask questions like, has this person done something that's going to embarrass the, the new president? Is this person sound financially? That's what vetted means. So these are people who go in and check the credentials of all of the vice presidential candidates. And then the president, presidential candidate says, okay, I want that one. Okay. So that's what we think about when we think of vetted, but that vetted also goes to your source materials. So if Dr. Wilson says something about the Indian war, who is Dr. Wilson? He, oh, he's an ear, nose, throat doctor. Oh, okay. Well, what would he know about that? Nothing. So just because they have a doctor in front of their name doesn't mean that they know what they're talking about. But most medical doctors, if they're talking about medicine, will know. But what I'm talking about is people with different issues that are going on, the border crisis, all that. You're going to have to find people who have been vetted by other experts, people who other experts have commented on. And we have a database that will help you with that. So this is really important starting on the groundwork right here to make sure that you understand you can't just use any source when you're looking up research. Okay, so you'll go to chapter 21, finding source materials. And as I told you, here are the video quizzes right there. Okay, now that's one way you can look at it, or you could just go to the chapter and at the end of each section, if they so desire, they give you a video quiz. Okay, so let's look at the very first page. So you would watch this. Then when you're done, you go here. Now pay attention to this because I didn't get it at first. <laughs> okay, it looks like you can click on the blue, but you can't. You got to go to the V, you click on it. And what it tells you is this is the first take of your assignment. So if for some reason, I'll try to paraphrase it for you. If for some reason your internet goes out, give it, try to get back in, but don't go in through another search engine. So if you're using Chrome, don't go back in with Firefox because you're going to lose your data. Um, also, don't use a different computer. Stay on the same one. Now, if you want, if you have the chance, you do want to save as you go. And then when you answer all the questions, of course, then you want to hit submit the assignments. And hopefully you'll get a 100 because you're able to check your work as you go along. So let's look, a take is this. Let's say I saw the video I'm going through this and the first question is which of these questions will not help you when considering your audience is my audience likely to disagree with me why why will my audience care about my ideas what background knowledge will my audience have what part of my audience can I ignore well Okay, well, I think the answer is D. And of course, it would talk about that uh, in the 
things. So let's go to check my work that should be in the video. And it is correct. Okay, very good. So I checked my work. So I'm good with that. I want to save it. Okay, and let's say I go to the next one, which is, I, you just have to click there. Okay, I do that. I answer that one. I check it. It's fine. And then I go on. But I get a, a very important phone call, and I only got to number two. What to do? Well, I save it. So I don't have to go back and redo those again. Okay, so that's what you'll do at the end of each one of those. So that's the first one. And remember to scroll down also. You're also going to be taking notes. You might kind of want to look at the questions too. Now, some of y'all are going, well, I'll, I'll do all of this. I'm going to just read the whole chapter. Well, great. If you can do that, that's fine. But I think that's asking you to do a lot in a week. That's why I split it up. So Let's go over here. And if you haven't figured this out by now, it actually that I took a screenshot of that, but I had to put it in um, black because it did not meet the approval of the Americans with Disabilities Act. It has to have a sharp contrast to it. Okay, so that's your mind tap. Let's go back over to week two. So this is what I was talking about. So there it is there. You don't have to go back in. So the next one that I want to go over with, so you're watching the video and that's going to be blue, bold, underlined because I'm going to upload this video there. Number two, you've done your chapter 21, finding source material. You've taken notes and you've completed your mind tap. Now, this is the link where you turn in your notes, okay? You'll browse, you'll upload them. And just do it for part one. All right, now at this point, I'm going to try to go back and talk to you about the crossword puzzle. You notice that I sent an email to the whole class and then to specific people who have not completed their discussion board assignment. Um, and some of you didn't get full credit. Some of you will get no credit. So not everybody in the class is on this crossword puzzle, unfortunately. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and go through this, but the puzzle that you're seeing linked to this is not the final puzzle. I've got to update it. Um, I'm still waiting for some of them to come in. But now that you've completed the welcome activity on the discussion board, you know things about your classmates that you never knew before. Some of y'all, I mean, y'all are all sitting in the same classroom, I believe. Uh, maybe you know each other, maybe you don't. Maybe now you know each other better. Using what you've learned from your classmates and yourself, go to this puzzle and complete it. Once you complete it, save it as a PDF, and I'll show you how to do that. Use your name as the title and upload it to this link here. So let me tell you what I mean by this. I'm hoping that it will show you this part. Okay, it'll take you here and it'll take you here. Okay. Okay, here's a list of clues on the right hand side and the discussion board, you were supposed to talk to other people in it. You still should be able to see what people wrote. I gave you clues about people in the class. So when you find it, for example, seeks better time management and grammar skills. Somebody would have said that in there. So let's say that kid's name was Sam. 
I'm going to go Sam. Oop, can't do that. It's 15 across, so it's Sam. Okay, good. Uh, let's say that this person here is, let's see, Margo. Margo is, let's see, what is that? Well, this one's, it looks like seven down, but I'm not sure. Okay, whatever it is. That's 13 across. Oh, okay. Some of this is not updated. Yet. It is, and some is not. Okay, so anyway, it doesn't matter. You'll have the corrected puzzle, and all of the numbers will be correct. I went in and revised it, and I didn't realize it didn't save. So some of this is revised and some of it is not. But let's say that you have typed all the names in and there probably will be, mm, see some of these are missing because people have not turned in, they haven't done their discussion board. So if you're, if you're counting, we have 17 people. And as of the time I did this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight people had not turned it in. But since then, I've had a couple of more. So you'll probably, and then I'll take out the names of the people who did not go on the discussion board. So if you're sitting next to a person and you're going, well, dude, why is your name not on there? You don't even have to ask the person. The answer to the question is, I didn't turn in my assignment on time. So I'm going to take the hot link off of that and after midnight tonight, I will totally update it so that when you work on it tomorrow, you can go to it. All right, so that looks good. You're ready to turn it in. Now, if you go and you say that you wanna save it as a, uh, what do you call it? A PDF, it's not gonna let you do that, okay? So you can't do it like that. You gotta go to file. And I don't even have a printer, but you ought, will go to print. And this is good for any of these things that you're trying, that you get off the internet. Just go to print and notice that it says save as PDF. So that's what I want to do. And I'm going to put it in my uh, folder here that I, in my documents. Okay, so I'm going to put my name, which is Janine Holland. Okay, I can leave the PDF on there. I'm going to say save. Let me pause this for just a moment. Okay, so I have saved that. It's in my documents. Here are the directions and I'm going to go here. I'm going to browse my local files. I'm going to do my documents. And I'm going to go Janine Holland, open, upload it. And well, there we go. I mean, you should be able to submit it. Ooh, I don't want to do that. And submit. And there you have it. Okay, so again, Let's go over what you're supposed to turn in. Oh, goodness. It's so sensitive. Okay. So you watch the video. That's this. You went to mind tap. You read the first half of 21, which these are all the subheadings there. Um, you've done... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven activities, whatever. It's best to do them as you're reading. You've taken notes. Okay. And then you will do the second half next week. You've gone to mind tap. Remember, we've got the schedule right over here, right there. You've gone there. You've done your grammar. Some of you, like I said, some of y'all are almost finished with it. Um, you've done the who am I and you've turned in your notes down here. That should be the end of it. Now, again, 
please do not wait until the last minute. And I'm so happy that so many of you don't. That's, that's just part of being successful, planning your time. I know everybody struggles with it. I would be a liar if I said I didn't. Um, time management, yeah. And focusing, I'm still learning and I'm a grandmother. So there you go. If you have any questions, ask uh, either the co your coach or ask me. You can email me. And as you've seen, some of y'all have emailed me. I try to get right back with you. So I'm here. I want to connect with you guys. I want to help you. And thank you for asking questions when things aren't clarified, because that's uh, sometimes I think that you're understanding it and I don't have a clue <laughs> until you tell me. Everybody, you have a wonderful week. Stay warm. Uh, let's hope for snow, though. And I will talk to you next Sunday. Thanks. Bye-bye.